The second objective for this uh, section is the order of operations. Uh, some of you may remember this being referred to as the word PEMDAS, or maybe even the sentence, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Um, as you can see, when I write PEMDAS, I write it a little bit differently, and I want to show you why I do that. Um, the P in PEMDAS stands for parentheses. And it tells us that when we're looking at a problem that has lots of different operations happening in it, the parentheses are, is going to tell us what math we're supposed to do first. Um, parentheses can also be brackets, so the ones with the hard edges, or braces. Those are all three considered to be part of the groupings under parentheses. E stands for what we just learned in the last objective, exponents. So if you're reading through a math problem and you see an exponent, that's the second math that you're going to do. Okay. I write the MD as if it were one letter because multiplication and division happen together as one step. Um, and for most of you, if you have a good understanding of PEMDAS, but there's always just a couple problems you get wrong, this is usually where it happens. Um, that I have students who go through a problem doing all the multiplication and then go back and do all the division. You need to do multiplication and division together as if they're one step. So if you're reading through a problem and you see division first, it actually happens before the multiplication that comes later in the problem. And if you haven't guessed it already, the AS stands for addition and subtraction. And the same rule applies there, um, that whichever one you see first as you're reading through the problem is the one you need to do first. So if addition appears first, you do the addition first. If subtraction appears first, you do the subtraction first. Okay. So this tells us the hierarchy or the order in which we're going to do the problems. Um, the process that we're going to do use for this is do a step, then recopy. As you get more practice um, and are getting more questions right, you may get to a point where you can maybe do two steps and then recopy. Um, but as we're starting with these first initial problems, I'm going to be showing you each step. Um, and I expect you to do the same. So let's take a look at our first problem here. Um, just looking through at the different operations that are happening in this problem, I'm reading along from left to right, and the first thing I see is a subtraction. I keep reading, and there's an addition, and then I read some more, and I see division. So if we were in English class, we would want to start from left to right and just do the, the math in order as it appears. But this is an English class, this is math class, so we have to do them in the PEMDAS order. So this division problem right here, this taking 48 and dividing it by 12, is the first math that we're going to do. Um, so 48, when we divide it by, not by 12, I'm sorry, 48 divided by 2 will give us 24. I've done a step, so now I'm going to recopy the rest of the problem, the 14 minus 2 plus 24 just gets copied down exactly as it was above. Okay. Now I'm looking through my new problem. All that I have left to do are subtraction and addition. And this is why the AS is written as a single step. Um, because we're, not, we're going to do the subtraction first because it's the first thing we're seeing reading from left to right. And these are considered to be a single step. So 14 take away 2 gives me 12. Then I add the 24, and 12 plus 24 gives me 36. Looking at the next problem, 3 and then parentheses 56 divided by 7 minus 4 squared. Well, there's division happening here, but it's happening inside a set of parentheses. 
Then this three that's right up against the parenthesis with no math in between it means that multiplication is happening there. One of the ways we show multiplication is to say three and then parentheses in another number. That means that we're taking that three and multiplying it by whatever's inside the parentheses. Here I see an exponent, and then I also see subtraction. So following my order of operations, I'm not going to do this exponent first because this division is inside parentheses. I'm going to do the parentheses first. So 56 divided by 7 gives me 8. Then I recopy the rest of the steps. The 3 on the outside, the 4 squared on the outside over here, the subtraction. 4 squared is my next step, and 4 when I square it gives me 16. The subtraction's still there, the multiplication's still there. 3 times 8 will give me 24. And when I subtract 16, my final answer is 8. Um, another thing that I want you to notice as I'm doing this um, is that the math is traveling down the page, that each step is written below the step above. Um, I had some guys in the class last semester who became the mathlish boys um, because they kept trying to do their math like English, writing it in lines from left to right. No go. This is not a mathlish class. It's a pure math class. So I do need you to make sure that you're writing your steps vertically going down. English is written from left to right. Math is written from top to bottom. We've got two more problems to look at as examples for this section. Um, but I'm not sure they're going to fit on this video, so I'm going to go ahead and pause it and make a part two for the last two problems.